Hi everyone, Monica Moore here, nurse practitioner and health coach at RMA of Connecticut. And today we're gonna to be discussing exercise and pregnancy. Uh, as a health coach, this is a topic that I get very excited about. Um, and uh, I hope that it's good news for you too. So the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists, which is the governing body of UBGYNs, uh, has a guideline out. And um, the guideline is that the suggestion is they want pregnant women to do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise per week. So um, this is great news. You can kind of split it up during the day however you want. And in terms of moderate intensity, what we think about is you can either you know look at your heart rate on if you have a smartwatch. But what I tell people to do is to consider it in terms of rate of perceived exertion. So if one is that you know you just got up from a chair and you're walking around, and 10 is you are incredibly breathless and cannot keep up that activity for much longer, you wanna fall somewhere on maybe a, a five. So you don't wanna be able to have an easy conversation, uh, but you don't wanna be breathless and you're unable to get kind of more than one word out of the time. So whatever that feels like for you. Um, the caveat to this is if you aren't exercising already. So we don't want you to start an exercise or moderate um, to vigorous intensity exercise program while you're pregnant. If you already are doing that, then you can keep that up once pregnant. And once we know that your pregnancy levels are going well and we don't have any concerns with you, concerns like spotting, um, concerns like um, uh, any kind of cramping um, that is pretty moderate of intensity that we have told you that we're concerned with, a little bit of cramping is completely normal. But if you don't do any, or really any, have a regular movement or exercise practice prior to pregnancy, you certainly can move in pregnancy. And what I tell people to do is to, is to walk, and to walk with two water bottles, um, in each, so one water bottle in each hand, so that you can stay well hydrated, which is very important. We want you to be well hydrated. You can keep your temperature down. One of the concerning issues in pregnancy is if your temperature gets too hot. We don't want you to get too hot and uh, summer's around the corner, so we're gonna keep an eye on that. So what the water bottles do is they give you a little bit of resistance. They also uh, provide you with hydration, obviously, um, and then as you drink them, you get less resistance, so as you fatigue during the walk, there's less to lift or less, less, less to hold. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you do wanna start any kind of movement or exercise program, please feel free to tell your nurse or navigator they can contact uh, any of us in terms of the health coaches or we can give you an idea of what to do um, once you're pregnant or prior to pregnancy if you wanna start a movement practice, that would be even better because then all you need to do is maintain it during pregnancy. So thanks so much as always. I hope this is helpful. Uh, have a great week.